Last year, I built 50 different microsites, and now they sit at the top of Google. They pull in leads that turn into real dollars, right? So instead of relying on one website, what we are going to do is create microsites. And the whole point is, if you could have an army of microsites, say 20, 30, 40, 50 in our case, they spit out cash every single month. So in this video, I'll show you how to do it yourself, how to create these websites so that you can rank easier on Google, whether or not you're a business owner, right? Whether or not you want to sell these leads as an instant business. And that's what we do, right? You've probably seen other videos I have done and the leads can be crazy. One of the previous videos had a literal $1 million value come through one of these microsites. So I want to get specific in this video, microsite state domination. So if you want to rank in say Georgia or Texas or Louisiana, you can rank for the whole state using microsites. I think this is one of the ways they excel really well. So let's say that we had a business in Huntsville, Alabama, right? And let's say that we wanted to go a 30 mile radius around Huntsville. I don't know, you could be any type of business. You could be a lawyer, an insurance agent. In this case, in this video, we're going to go more blue collar. We're going to do small engine repair in Huntsville, Alabama, right? That's a very powerful niche. Why? Well, because I just put my tractor in the shop and they want $2,000 to repair it. Okay, so there's money here, right? And it can be a quick turnaround. If you can rank your website, your microsite here, here, or here, right? You can make a lot of money because what you'll do is you'll turn around and sell those leads to the business who's going to do the work, who's going to service the client. Very easy to do, right? Especially in a niche like this. Better yet, my goal is always to have website number one, two, and three here so that all roads lead to Rome. In other words, we build so many websites that we have situations where Google has multiple. I think in one instance, we have four of our websites in the top 10 position. It's like position one, three, four, and six. It's crazy, right? And if that's the case, if you can do that, well, you better bet you're going to rank higher than all your competitors. You're going to make more money. And that's the name of the game. So what we're going to do here, we're going to come over to what? Let's come over to Wikipedia. Let's say I'm in Alabama and I want to build you know, enough microsites to make considerable amount of money. I want to, I want to have enough microsites to replace my income. I need to make, let's say five grand a month and I don't want to do too much work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to identify different cities, different counties that I think could be good. Well, that is dictated largely by population. Do you see here? Jefferson County has 658,000 mobile or mobile. Someone called me out of that has 400,000. We need to go where people are, right? If there's more people, there's more opportunity, but then it's always a dance of what? Of competition. So we're gonna use tools like the Keyword Planner, and we're gonna also do other things in this video, such as go over comments that you have put, you know, in video comments of the past. We're gonna go over these. So as you watch this video, if you have a question, you have a comment, just um, comment below. Now we're gonna move fast in this video. I'm gonna give you a lot of information here. You can use this for yourself to build a microsite. If you're stoked, if you're excited, get out there, build a microsite. I'm telling you there's opportunity here. If you want the templates on how to do this at scale with systems that we've already figured out that are working right now, join the Rank Expand Academy. That's where it's at. This community has grown super fast. All right, so check it out. Let's get back to our Google Sheet. All right, every website needs these boilerplate pages. Do you see this? The About Us page, Estimates, Contact, Privacy Policy, Terms and Conditions, Thank You pages. Our microsites, and someone has called me out on this, are not necessarily micro right? Do you see what I'm saying? They're not micro because if we have all these pages, that's not the smallest website. It's not the biggest website either. Listen, I have websites that are 5,000 pages. These are only like 30, 50, 60 pages. It's not huge. Still micro. It's all relative. But if you look here, this is a dummy website, right? Smallenginehuntsville.com. So the domain itself, Small Engine Huntsville, it could be Small Engine Repair Huntsville.com is an EMD, an exact match domain that carries a lot of power in Google right now for local business searches. Now up here, we have something else. These are the services that we provide. If we do Small Engine Repair, we could say Small Engine Repair here, Lawnmower Repair, Pressure Washer Repair. We need to force feed the exact services we do. We need to show Google, we do these services, here they are, right? And then the magic happens when you can figure this out right here. What we do is, well, these are called service location pages, right? So we do business where? In Huntsville, and Madison, all these different areas. You could build this out much larger than this. This is 15 right here. 15 is good, right? 15 service location pages is good. You can go around Huntsville, you can go around your city pretty darn well with 15 locations. Now here's the crazy part. Let's just take a step back a second. What I'm describing to you right now is one website, right? And it ranks for all of these locations, let's say. Now you're starting to see how our websites, we built 50 of them, can overlap 
in geographic areas. That's why it's so powerful. We're not just trying to attack Huntsville. We go after all the cities, right? So if I come over here to Google, right here to Google Maps, if we have a website, say, based in Huntsville, okay, great, we can hit the greater Huntsville. But if we have a website called Small Engine Repair uh, newhope.com down here. Well, guess what? It's going to rank for New Hope as well as the other areas in a 30 mile radius or 15 mile radius. That's the whole point here. Our microsites, they're kind of like a mosaic. Each one can fold on top of each other in terms of its geographic area. I want to show you this real quick, but before we do, if we come over to Google's free tool, the keyword planner, and I typed in small engine Huntsville, you're going to see something interesting. I highly recommend you do competitor research. Do you see down here? Uh, the first four are Buddy's small engine Huntsville. So if I come back over here, small engine, there's Buddy. There's Buddy right there, right? So Buddy has a great reputation in Huntsville, Alabama. And who do you think the first person I would call to sell the leads to would be? probably would be them. They may corner the market right now though, so you have to be careful there. But you can see small engine Huntsville AL, right? People are typing that in upwards of 100 times a month. There is something here. Now, what I recommend for you to do is you take every location, so we have Huntsville, we have Madison, we have Athens, and so on and so forth, and you put that into the free tool, and you see how much volume is there, and then you start to see what is worth ranking for and what's not. Do not disregard the ones that are super low volume when you're building your service location pages, but you can disregard it for the domain level. So let's get into this. Old school is one website. So if you have a business, the old school is to build a website. And believe it or not, if you don't know this, they cost 10 to 30 grand to build. If you call up a firm, a web design firm, they're going to charge you 10 to 30 plus thousand dollars. I got a quote recently that was $60,000 for a website build. That's crazy right? And the new school is, which is why we dominate, is one website. So if you have your business website, great, keep it, but also do microsites. Why? Because if you do them yourself, it's 10 bucks each per month. Hello, do you see what I'm saying? The price difference alone means that you can have an army of websites, whereas your competitors, right, they have one website and they may have Google reviews and they may rank well on the map pack. But when I have many, many, many websites, I can rank on Bing everywhere. I can rank on Google everywhere. It's not really a competition when I go against companies doing the old school tactics. Now, listen, there's a big problem with all of this, right? Because some businesses have physical limitations, physical limitations. Uh, and this is so important. I even wrote it down. I bolded it and I underlined it. Physical limitations. So when we look at the example of the small engine repair in Huntsville, Alabama, what is the physical limitation? Well, that is, you know, someone has to have their tractor or their lawnmower close by to the place to be fixed. You have people fixing it. These are physical limitations. Now, if we were to do something like, I don't know, lawyer, right? Lawyer in Huntsville, Alabama. Do lawyers have physical limitations? Do insurance guys have physical limitations? Not really. Why? Well, maybe you want to meet them in person and that's cool. You can make that happen. But oftentimes business is done on the phone. And the coolest part to me is with those businesses, if you have this tactic, what you can do, you can zoom out quite a bit more if this ever loads, right? We have Huntsville here, right? Let's do layers. If we have Huntsville, Alabama here and we want to dominate all of Alabama, well, instead of just going after the 30 mile radius around Huntsville, what would we do? We'd come back over to our, our chart if I could ever find it. And what I would do, I would go after all of the major cities in, in Alabama. I wouldn't do the, the 30 mile radius thing and build sites just around there. I would dominate everywhere around the major cities. So there's a huge advantage for businesses for niches, for verticals that have no physical limitations. That's the best, right? And you've probably seen websites with no physical limitations that do this concept across the whole nation, but you just don't know what you're looking at because they look like very tight, secure websites, but they essentially are lead generation websites, which is what we're building here. Now we're gonna go over the community questions, but once again, I'm gonna invite you to the Rank Expand Academy. If you start to have the light bulb going off and realizing these websites cost you $10 a month to run and they can produce leads for websites, real businesses that you can sell for 150 bucks a pop, join the Rank Expand Academy, get the templates, figure out how we do it exactly, right? But let's come over to the community questions. And remember, please have your questions and your thoughts in this video too. All right, someone said smart approach, hyper-local SEO, better customer experiences, uh, strong reputation management are exactly where AI can give local business a serious edge. I think that's true, right? 
The coolest part about hyper local SEO, so niche websites that are real businesses, lawyers, plumbers, electricians, roofers, the competition is just nothing that most SEOs are accustomed to. If you can rank a niche website, you can rank a local business website. That's what's so cool. Um, is this a global opportunity? Sure is. Anyone can do it. My partner lives in the Netherlands, right? What's stopping you? Uh, WordPress is overkill for 99% of projects. It's better to use a custom self-coded CMS. We use a flat CMS. So what they're saying here is WordPress Right, WordPress works really well, but it doesn't scale really well and it's more expensive. If I was doing this for the first time and I did this, I would build a WordPress website. Why not? What's stopping you to build a WordPress microsite right now, today, and have it start cooking on Google, right? Nothing, but if you want to get to 20 websites, 30, 40, 50, you need a different approach. Now, here's a really good question that I like. Isn't microsites just another name for niche sites? that already got crushed from the update. So what they're referring to is there was the HCU, the helpful content update by Google that crushed many websites, niche websites. Microsites are not niche websites. A niche website would be something like if I had a dog website and on that website I have articles, blog posts, can dogs eat broccoli? Can dogs eat chocolate? You know, it just goes on and on. Those websites are toast. Those are informational websites. Nowadays, what we build are microsites for local businesses on purchase intent only. I want to make money, right? I want to make money. So I only write things on my website with purchase intent.